Okay, so we already analyzed the crap out of the Mario Kart 8 DLC, but you guys still managed to find a few things that we missed. So we're back with part 2 of our DLC analysis, this time using your ideas. But of course, please make sure to watch part 1 if you haven't already as we'll only be covering the new stuff here. There's a link to it in the description below. So let's start things off with a bang by taking another look at that mysterious forest level. Because Secret Agent Lucario noticed something interesting. If you look close, there are Toads and Shy Guys on the sidelines. Okay, that's nothing new. But he noticed something else about them. They're actually sitting on what appears to be the side of the branch. Which of course makes no sense. But, if we rotate the image like this, we can see those Toads and Shy Guys are actually sitting on top of the branch meaning the track itself is going straight up the giant tree here in what has to be an anti-gravity section. In fact, El Orgulu del Operador noticed that there are blue lights bordering the track, which is something we've seen before in several other Mario Kart 8 tracks that have anti-gravity, such as Piranha Plant Slide. But here's the weird thing. As we pointed out before, and as Leo Ponce elaborates on, we can clearly see the starting line here with no blue anti-gravity strips in sight, meaning this track probably has to begin while anti-gravity with you facing straight up the giant tree, which is something no other Mario Kart track has done yet. So because of this, we can't help but wonder if perhaps the entire track takes place while in anti-gravity. Alright, and that covers it for the mysterious forest track, so let's move on to the Animal Crossing New Leaf one. And first up we have Lucian Fox, who was able to identify one of the characters we didn't last time, being Teddy the Bear on the left in the back here. But Lucian has another idea involving the staircase just before the finish line on the right, and he wonders if that might hint at some kind of shortcut. Yeah, that would be a pretty tight corner, but it's possible the stairs extend much farther beyond what this picture shows, making it something that could actually be possible. Of course, it could just be there for decoration too. And speaking of the track, Joel Seymour points out that you might just be able to barely see another part of it behind the tree in the background here. Yeah, it's impossible to say for sure, as it could just be part of a cliff wall or something. But if it is indeed part of the track, it seems like this could be a rather expansive course. Moving on is the Excite Bike track. And Nugget McNuggetson noticed something interesting. If we zoom in on the bottom left corner, we can see the white line on the track actually curves slightly, meaning there's a turn here. Now previously I had noted that it's possible the track may be a simple square, based on the fact that the track seems to be sticking to the perimeter of the stadium, which would also make sense thematically since the original Excite Bike was all about straightaways. And if we run with my idea, the corner here does suggest the straightaways won't actually be that long, since we can see the entirety of this one here. Which could mean this might actually be a very short track, in which case we think it's possible it might feature more than the standard 3 laps, kind of like Baby Park in past Mario Kart games, as Twisted Leaf 26 suggests. Hell, even in the original Excite Bike, you could create a custom track with up to 9 laps, so it's not outside the realm of possibility. Although the track could be a rectangular shape instead, in which case we could be looking at one of the shorter straightaways, whereas the one up ahead may be one of the longer ones. Or maybe it's not a rectangle at all and there's turns all over the place. Who knows? Either way, the hill here is immediately around that first corner, meaning you may not have much time to get into a good position and could make for some really chaotic jumps. Next up, let's take a quick look at the F-Zero track again. Now before, we were trying to figure out how exactly the track was structured up ahead, but as Mario fans LOL points out, it's probably just a simple zigzag, with the track bending to the right, then to the left before curving around. But we noticed something else ourselves too, and that's the fact that there are blue lines running along either side of the course. Now where else have we seen blue next to the track before? Hmm. Oh, right, in other anti-gravity sections. Which could mean this track might actually start at anti-gravity too, much like the forest level. In fact, we really wouldn't be surprised if the entire course took place in anti-gravity, since that's exactly how the F-Zero games work. And speaking of F-Zero and anti-gravity, Dorado Andrini noticed something unusual about the Blue Falcon cart. It doesn't seem to have any wheels. Now this picture was taken while in an anti-gravity section, so maybe its wheels fold up underneath? Or maybe there really are no wheels at all, even when racing in normal gravity sections. I mean, it is the Blue Falcon after all. Although this would seemingly be at odds with the ability to customize your wheel choice. But it's possible you might still be able to choose, and perhaps they just don't physically appear. And while we're on the topic of vehicles, Golden Sonic 64 noticed that Link's cart appears to be larger than Mario's. And since Mario is a medium weight, he thinks this could mean Link will be a heavyweight. Oh, and finally, I probably should mention that Nintendo recently confirmed that the B-Dasher cart, originally from Mario Kart DS, will be a part of the first DLC pack too. So that's pretty cool. Alright, and that wraps up for everything we, and you, could dig up on Mario Kart 8's DLC. But as always, let us know if we missed anything by posting in the comments below. And of course, make sure to check out part 1 of our analysis if you haven't already, since there's a ton more that we covered there. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned to GameExplained.com for more on Mario Kart 8 and other things gaming too.